The number five song, a much more upbeat song back in our era, Bruno Mars. Hey, hey, God, this song. hey, hey. I got a condo in Manhattan. Baby girl, what's Oh, wait. This is really funny. Somebody told me this the other day. Yeah. Radiohead was performing in Miami, of all places. I like with, where this is going. The famously humorless Tom York. Yeah. They can't catch a break. They had a lot of sound problems at Coachella of the first weekend. Oh, really? Yeah, they had to like walk off stage. But so they're down in like Miami. They were pissed and we're like, we're walking off. Uh, well, yeah, Hard I guess. To say. I don't know. But they were performing on the same tour in Miami a few weeks ago. And I guess somebody in the band, maybe Johnny Greenwood, when they're doing their kind of weird freakouts, he sometimes uses some kind of device, maybe just a straight up radio or something where they're manipulating radio frequencies live or there's something who, or maybe, yeah. that, maybe that's not even the case. So, you know, sometimes just an amp can pick up radio frequencies. There's a lot of oh, yeah, yeah. I've had that musical happen. equipment that can pick up sure. radio frequencies. Sure. So, oh my God. <laughs> so apparently they're just playing some like radio head ass radio yeah. song. And they get to the end of it. Yeah. I like to imagine it's like some really dark one. Water can. Can. And then just like they finish and then just suddenly and the over the speakers you hear like, <laughs> what's up Miami? How's everybody doing on this Friday night? Are you ready to have a good time? I hope you got some big weekend plans. And then this came on. Hey, hey, hey. I got a condo in Manhattan. Baby girl, what's happening? You and your ass invited. So gone and, and I get apparently it. Tom York rather than like rolling with it and like having a sense of humor about just went as soon as he heard Bruno Mars's voice who apparently he's made derogatory comments about before as soon as he heard that he just went off oh, off <laughs> he just heard, like, oh my god oh f- off <laughs> I was also kind of like picturing when I was hearing this story like this is Miami yeah people in Miami generally know how to have a good time it's like kind of like a fun city but you're picturing all the people at a radio head concert how many like miami radiohead fans as soon as this came in just started grooving a little bit just like hey 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 or just everybody was just mortified oh f- off they were pumped man they were hoping radiohead was gonna cover it hey just start, hey. Wish, like see it just start jamming over it i bet probably like the drummer started like playing a little bit but the funny thing is apparently like tom york had made some kind of disparaging comment about bruno mars in the past in an interview Talk about some good revenge. Back to 1969. Radiohead sucked after OK Computer anyway. Oh. Hey. In Rainbows hey. is good. Hey. hey. In Rainbows is good. Kid A, wildly overrated. You think Kid A is wildly overrated? I do. Oh. Hey. 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 I got a condo in Manhattan. Baby, Baby girl, what's happening? happening? That's sick. Shout out to Bruno Mars. <laughs> I love it. And look, I like Radiohead, but. Sure. Tom York, you better shut your damn mouth. Quit talking shit about one of America's greatest treasures, Bruno <laughs> Mars. You're going to get a whole lot more of that. Back to 1969. The number four song on the charts was The Cow Sills with Hair. Oh, like from the soundtrack, Hair? 